Hello, and welcome to the Paul Cantabene Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson men's lacrosse coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, you opened up conference play last week first at home. You played against Alvernia. We yep. um, were able to um, get a lot of different guys in, Has had 17 different goal scorers, and uh, opened up conference play with a win. Yeah, it was good. You know, it's just good to get going here a little bit. I liked some of the changes that we made in the um, Cabrini game, did really well, and then we kind of pushed those into the Alvernia game. And what I liked about the Alvernia game, we just got, we, we just played well early on. You know, didn't, weren't really messing around. I thought we were real crisp, scored on a lot of shots early, and got a lot of easy shots. I thought we moved the ball and it's always good to get one of those games to get a lot of people in and we got everybody in the roster in and it was fun and you know we were able to get a good victory to start the conference play off yeah and then i continue conference play saturday go up to albright um kind of a close game for a little bit their goalie was making some saves and yep. um but ultimately in the second half you were able to shut them down and pull away for the win yeah the goalie had 28 saves you know he played pretty good but they played zone all 60 minutes and you know i think we had the ball about 90 percent of the game but we did a good job i think we got a lot of quality shots we didn't shoot it as well but i just think some of our younger guys danny buckwalter and uh tucker and Chris Hammerquest are really doing a great job in our second midfield line, and they really needed a lot of the playing time they got in this game and got a lot better. And so that's good. But, you know, I think we just got to continue to try to shoot the ball well. We didn't shoot the ball as well as we wanted to in the all-break game, but I think we did a really good job uh, just moving the ball around. Our spacing was great. We got a lot of good shots inside. Their goalie made saves early, and we just broke them down. Anytime you play a zone all game, you know, it just takes some time. It takes a little while just to break it down and get the feel of it. And that's the first time we've seen a zone all year. And so I thought we did a good job. We might see one Tuesday against uh, Stevens Tech. They zoned us all last year. So we'll be ready for that. But um, and it's like the way we played. I think we did a good job again. We were real crisp. We moved the ball. We didn't have a lot of turnovers. And, you know, our defense did a great job. They didn't give up any six on six goals at all. They got two off the ride, off of broken rides. Uh, when the ball just kind of bounced around and got their way. And they got one in the man up uh, in the first minute of the game where we kind of got a push call a little bit. But, um, you know, I thought we did a good job playing some good defense. And, again, we got a lot of people in and got the ball moving around. And that's what you want to do. Yeah, and shifting gears, you head back to non-conference play. You touched on a little bit. You play Stevens at home Tuesday, and then I head to Lynchburg on Friday, which should be two very good games. Yeah, yeah. You know, Stevens Tech's having a good year. They're eight and one. They're thirteenth in the country. You know, they've only played one ranked team really, and uh, and Tufts was a game they lost. So, you know, we played a little bit harder of a schedule, but they got some talented guys on the offensive end, and I think their goalie's playing really well for them and uh, doing a good job. And they they've always done some really good things. We're eager to play. Last year we played in uh, probably the worst conditions I've ever played uh, up there uh, in a monsoon with like forty mile an hour winds and. Uh, it was a little crazy, but you got to play the games the way it is, and they got us by a couple. And but we're looking forward to playing them. And then you know we always go down to a real tough game down in Lynchburg. Uh, you know it's, we we always love going down there. You know up and back in the same day is a little tough, but you know we always have a great game down there at night. And so it's just a good week to finish up our conference out of conference play and uh, with t- with two quality teams. And we just got to keep doing what we're doing. I think we're doing a great job moving the ball now, especially in the offense. And the new guys are really starting to understand how de- defensively how we have to play since we lost all those guys. And Dylan Harris is out for the year now with ankle surgery. This morning and so you know we just got a lot of guys that are just starting to feel feel what they're supposed to do especially in the offensive end now moving and Jacob Tatum especially in the offensive end scoring a lot of goals for us as a freshman doing a good job you know helping out JT and uh, Ethan Christensen. Yeah you can certainly see some of those guys have been thrown into some different roles and really starting yep. to develop and step it up. Yeah when you, when you lose some guys in, in the defensive end you got to step in and make some plays and offensively you know we, we had to change the things around and we, we've done a good job doing that we kind of know who we are now we have two solid midfield lines now which is really great I mean, we only had like a, a line and a half earlier in the season and so we're getting to that point and now our changes at the attack have really helped us and made us a lot more dangerous yeah. alright coach we wish you the best of luck and we'll see you right here tomorrow night thanks Greg looking forward to it alright for Paul Cantabene I'm Greg Royce this has been the Paul Cantabene Show